Hey, how's it going, Kyle? My name's Alex. I'm gonna be answering a bunch of questions for you. Uh, I joined straight out of high school, so originally I just wasn't ready, I don't know, for that college life. I just didn't want to go to school, be a tons and tons of in debt uh, after you get your degree. I don't know, I just felt like that wasn't like my path at that certain point. So I just wanted to join uh, to get the experience uh, and then maybe one day pursue uh, like education benefits and stuff like that. I have been in the Air Force for about six years now, and my current rank is Staff Sergeant. So my job, uh, the name of it is actually Aerospace Medical Services. Uh, the AFSC is going to be 4NOX1. Uh, so did I sign this job in debt? Uh, originally, no. I actually signed up uh, for a different uh, job in the debt program. I actually signed up for uh, SEER. Uh, survival Evasion Resistance uh, Escape Specialist. I originally wanted to be a PJ, a pararescue jumper. I wanted to go for that job, but unfortunately I went to MEPS. I failed um, the eyesight. I just didn't have good enough vision, so I just didn't qualify for that. Um, but I did uh, pass everything else. I qualified for a SEER Specialist. So I ended up joining, going to BASIC, and then going directly into SEER after that. Uh, but unfortunately during the training, I got injured and I just couldn't proceed on with the training so I actually got reclassed. And from there, I actually got to um, go to a different job. They have, you, they have you pick different jobs and stuff like that. So basically, you on your dream sheet, you'll list out other jobs that you want to be reclassed into and they'll more than likely pick from that. If not, they'll pick from something, uh, some other jobs that's in high uh, demand. But luckily, I did get uh, my first pick and it was aerospace medical services, so that's what I got. And I kind of got lucky with that. Uh, yes, this job is actually definitely what I wanted to do. I'm really glad that I was put into this job now. I'm very happy, I really enjoy the medical field, and I plan to pursue it uh, even further. Like I said, uh, the other job that I wanted to do was pararescue. I really, really was interested in that. I thought that was, they do some pretty badass stuff. Um, but now, married, I feel like I'm gonna have a family probably pretty soon or want to. I just feel like it's not realistic for me anymore, but I've come close to the best I can um, for the goals that I have, but yeah. So when I first joined, I actually signed a six year contract. Originally, I thought I was gonna do 20 years. I thought I was gonna do the full span. Uh, that's not the case anymore, but originally I thought I was going to do 20, so I said, hey, why not do six? But yeah, that's how that went. So tech school for my job is actually at Fort Sam Houston uh, Army Base in Texas. It's about 20 minutes down the road from Lackland Air Force Base. That's where they, uh, they do that. So our tech school can definitely vary, but on average, it's about six months or so. Um, you do your phase one and a phase two. Your phase one is all your book work and your uh, schooling that the instructors provide you with. You do all your tests and you get certified. You actually get to go get your EMT uh, basic certification. And then from there, you also do uh, your nursing uh, care as well. Um, after that, you then complete your phase two. From there, you go to different locations. You can go from right, Patterson Air Force Base, you can go to Travis Air Force Base. Uh, there's many other ones, but those are your phase two locations where they have a big military treatment facility and you do your hands-on. You do your clinicals there. So that's where you actually get to learn that. I very much enjoyed my tech school. Uh, phase one was pretty cool, right there still in Texas, um, you know, whenever you have time off or whatnot, you get to go down to the river walk and enjoy your time. Um, and even the schooling too, pretty good uh, information. My favorite part though is definitely when I was going to phase two, when I was getting my clinicals and actually doing hands-on uh, with, with patients and real world care. So that was probably like my best experiences that I really enjoyed. Uh, yeah, so with this job, you can pretty much go any location, uh, any location that has a big MTF or big military treatment facility or a clinic. Um, everywhere they need, they're going to need medical technicians that need to assist. Yeah, so within my job, actually, um, my story is going to be a little different. 
Uh, I actually uh, possess a what's called a special experience identifier. So within this medical job, you not only can just be like a medical technician, you can hold different uh, certifications. So for example, uh, I'm a paramedic, a nationally registered paramedic. And with my job, I actually can work out of an ER emergency um, room, or excuse me, emergency uh, department. I can work out of an emergency um, room. And from there, I can also go on ambulance calls. So I also also respond in uh, ambulance services. So that's a really cool thing about my job is that I can be at uh, ERs or I can be um, on an ambulance responding to medical emergencies. So that's pretty cool. So how many hours uh, you can work with this job can definitely vary. If you work in a clinic, say like you work family health or like flight medicine or different clinics like that, that's pretty nice. It has like a normal, you know, you have a seven to uh, four, seven to five job, um, Monday, Monday through Friday, five days a week. Um, with my particular job, uh, I actually work uh, what's called like a Panama shift. So these ones actually range from 12 hour work days and they actually do uh, three days on, two days off, and like vice versa, where you do two days on, three days off, three, or excuse me. Um, this is where you can actually do three days on, two days off, two days on, three days off. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, so it can vary pretty much. Uh, these are a lot of different schedules that you can work with, but, but this is the one especially. When it comes to the ER, you work that schedule. Uh, three days on, two days off, two days on, three days off and you'll rotate that pretty much um, every other week, and then every uh, four months you also do like days and night shifts. So that's what we can do for hours and hours. So different certifications actually uh, that the Air Force can provide for you is when you go to tech school, you get your EMTB, so your uh, emergency medical technician, your basic certification, you actually get that and that transfers over to the civilian world. That's nationally registered. Uh, for me, I'm a nationally registered paramedic, so I'm also, uh, when I decide to uh, separate and stuff, I'll be able to go and use that on the civilian sector. I'm nationally registered. So um, that is many, uh, one of many certifications that you can transfer. Uh, yeah. So for deployments, uh, I myself have never deployed, um, but you definitely can get deployed in this job. Um, you can go and deploy and work out like out of um, ER, or you can go work uh, out of like ambulances and stuff like that. Uh, it just kind of depends on where they want to put you, but yes, you can deploy definitely with this job. So for making a career um, or separating, I actually plan to uh, separate within the next uh, year. I originally signed a six-year contract and I just hit my six-year mark, but I'm actually stationed uh, overseas and for myself and my wife to come over here, uh, I had to extend my enlistment. So I extended a year and a half and I'll actually be doing about seven and a half years uh, by time I separate the Air Force. I originally thought I was gonna do 20 years and it looks like I just, I don't know, it's not for me. I don't wanna do 20 years. I just wanna do my time that I signed up for and then I wanna separate and um, go back to kind of the civilian sector and do that stuff. I would definitely say my top job when it comes to being in the Air Force, I would still have this job. I really do enjoy uh, this job a lot. I really enjoy the medical field. It really is, I feel like, my calling. Uh, so I am really glad I found it and I'm glad that I got to get the certifications and the education that uh, it gave me. So for advice in the future uh, pertaining to this job and the Air Force, definitely if you want to come into anything medical in the military, I would just recommend Maybe like, hey, say, you say you're still like in college, um, take some medical classes, you know, just basic anatomy, physiology, um, other medical terms, anything, anything medically related, um, or even get like your CPR, uh, CPR or basic life support, any kind of certifications like that will just further increase your knowledge before you get in. So you're not just receiving all this at once and you're like, I don't understand, but I would definitely recommend doing that for sure before coming to the medical field. When it comes to the Air Force, I would say with uh, the advice uh, for Air Force, uh, I would definitely say try and always keep an open mind. Don't always go in acting like you're always the person who knows, always knows what's going on. You're always acting like you know everything. Don't try and do that. Um, just always try and keep an open mind. Know if you wanna sign a four or six year. Uh, yeah, so if you want to find me online, uh, I do have an Instagram, I do have a Twitter. Um, you can actually find me at uh, Hallerback, H-A-L-L-O-R, uh, that's my last name, uh, Back. So yeah, you can find me on there for Instagram Twitter if you want to 
follow me. Thanks.